Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of In the Kitchen with Sandy. Um, I'm Sandy, of course, and what I'm going to show you how to make today is my homemade chicken and noodles. Now, this was requested um, to be made, and I'm going to go ahead and make it. It's like 154 degrees outside, but not really. It's um, only 91, big difference. But I'm going to go ahead and make it anyway because it's absolutely delicious, and it's a you know, great comfort food, and hey, if you got your air conditioning on, Go ahead and make it. Don't don't wait till winter to make this. Here's what we'll be using. Um, I, ha I have some um, chicken thighs. You can use chicken breast if you like. Um, I like to use chicken thighs because the meat gets more tender when you cook it. Um, but I do use chicken breast too. So whatever you got, use it. We're also going to use about um, one medium onion, um, about two tablespoons of butter and one can of the um, chicken broth. This is low sodium. I like to control the um, amount of salt um, that I put in there, so um, low sodium is great. And in this little, uh, this little container here is uh, granulated garlic powder and onion salt, yummy. Some pepper, and this is the secret ingredients to excellent chicken and noodles. All this is is just a dry pack of chicken gravy mix. This is what makes them delicious. Um, I also have some um, chopped parsley here just for color and um, some noodles of your choice. These are my favorite. Um, these are my favorite. I love these. Um, they're very easy to cook and quite delicious. And of course some water. And so what we're going to do is is we're going to go ahead and what I, I also normally put in a stalk of celery, you know, chopped up. But somebody forgot to buy some at the store, so I don't have any. But I mean, I had already started getting this video together, so we're going to go ahead with it anyway. Um, but if you have a stalk of celery, use it. Just chop it, you know, no big deal. Not, not real big, not real little, but use it. it. It's really good. One pot meal here. So we're just going to take our chicken thighs and put them in your pan or your pot. Use a nice size stock pot here. These have already been washed. You stick them in there and um, then you're going to throw in your onions. Just throw them in there. This is so easy. So easy and your house smells amazing when you're cooking it. Throw your butter in there. Boop. Throw your seasonings in there. Just sprinkle them right on in there. And we're gonna we're not gonna put this in until after the chicken cooks for a little bit. So and then you're gonna add your chicken broth. Use the whole can. Pour that right in there. And then we're not gonna add any extra salt because the chicken broth um, it has some salt in it, and um, you know you don't want to over salt it. Plus you have your onion salt and your garlic uh, powder in there, so you don't want to overdo it. You can always uh, test it. Test your broth when um, you know when it's done. You can test it, sample it, and some fresh ground pepper, and then I pour just enough water over it to cover the the chicken. So this is about two and a half cups of water, and we're just going to cover that chicken. That's all we're going to do. Let's push it down in there. Actually, I'm going to use just a little bit more water. And I have to use bottled water because we have a well. And I don't like all that nastiness in my food when I'm cooking. Now, we're going to put a lid on this. Just like this. It's not going to go all the way on there. And we're going to put this on the stove. Bring it to a boil. Turn it down. And let it simmer. Um, um, not really simmer. A little bit you know, higher than simmering. Maybe medium low for about 45 minutes. Chicken's going to be fall off the bone delicious. And then we're going to add um, our secret ingredient there, and then I'll show you the rest when it's done. Okay, my um, chicken is done. I cooked it for about 35 to 40 minutes and um, on low, had a um, lid over it and just kind of let it simmer, a little bit over simmer. So I'm going to take it out and plate it, put it on the plate, and I'm going to let it cool. And it is fork tender. And then once it cools, I'm going to tear the uh, meat off of it, the chicken off of it. And then we're going to put it back in the pan here, hot. 
these will take uh, about 10 minutes to cool so you can fool with them and look at look at this look how rich this broth is look down in there look how rich that is it's rich with lots of good flavors so we're gonna let these cool tear the meat off of them and then I'm gonna throw the rest of it together I've got all the chicken off the bone and I've put it down into the broth look down in here look down in here look it's loaded with chicken and then what I'm going to do, I just kind of tore it apart with my fingers and a fork. I'm going to add the secret ingredients. This is just a dry gravy mix. Any brand will do. It's chicken dry gravy mix. And add it in there. Give it a stir. Get it mixed around real good. And then I'm going to give this a taste for saltiness because remember, we didn't really add any salt to this, so I'm going to taste it. Stir it up real good. Gotta mix it real good there. I'm going to sample the broth. I've got it going on about medium. Ooh, I dropped the bag of noodles in there. I'm going to add about, um, about half the bag. And I'm going to give it a quick stir. And there's a lot of broth in there. Look in there. There's a lot of broth in there. But the noodles are going to soak it up. They're going to soak all that goodness up. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more fresh ground pepper. down in there. Get down in there, girlfriend. Check that out. Ooh, isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Yum, yum. Do not wait till winter to make this. Okay, now it's returned to a boil. This is how I like to cook my noodles. You can cook them anyway. You can boil them for about 10 minutes and be done. I like to bring them back up to a boil. Stir them up real good. Turn them off. Bang your spoon on there about 10 more times. I'm just kidding. Put the lid on them and remove them from the heat. And these are going to be perfectly done in about 15 to 18 minutes. Okay, my chicken and noodles are done. Get down in here and look at this. Look at that. Yum, yum, yum. You know you want some of that. I know I want some of that. So. I'm going to push me some out here. Look at that, how good that is. Yummy. Now this is hearty. Very good, very hot, very tasty. I'll let it cool for a minute. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. You need to get in your kitchen and make these now. I can't tell you how good they are and they smell amazing too so give me a thumbs up subscribe show me some love and follow me on facebook twitter pinterest and google plus see you next time bye this is a hearty hearty meal <laughs> these damn cats <laughs>